What you guys got another video here for you today. We're taking a look at how to upgrade to Windows 11 right now for free. A lot of people have messaged me saying they're having issues trying to upgrade to Windows 11. So I thought I'd show you basically the full steps on how to do this. So first off, on your Windows 10 machine, make sure that you are fully updated on your system. You can go in here and update your system, check for updates, and make sure these are all updated. It's important to make sure the upgrade process to Windows 11 goes smoothly. Now, if you don't see the Windows 11 upgrade option appearing inside your Windows update here, then don't worry. I'll show you how to bypass this step and go ahead and upgrade to Windows 11 if you want to using the Windows Update Assistant. Now, just a quick reminder that you don't need to rush to upgrade to Windows 11 right away. There's no time scale where you need to upgrade to Windows 11. This is a decision thing that you're going to have to make for yourself. But at the end of the day, if you really do want to upgrade to Windows 11 right away, then I will show you how to do it in this video. A really important step here as well is to remember is it's important to always back up your data um, because if something goes wrong during the upgrade process, you will lose that data and you don't really want to do that. So it's always important that you back up your data first because trusting Microsoft to save your data while they upgrade you to a new operating system is really risky. So I'd always back up your data first. Anyway, let's move on to the process that I'll show you here. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I'll let these updates go ahead and run in the background. Once these are done, I'll show you the next step to take. I'm assuming that you've already backed up your data on your computer. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. The next step is to head over to the Microsoft website. This is a brand new web page they've put up called Download Windows 11. I did this in my video yesterday, but I wanted to show you the Windows 11 installation assistant, which is the update assistant, basically. Uh, you can download this little tool here and run it on your system. And this will then tell you if you're eligible for an upgrade to Windows 11 for free. You can see it's checked my system, and it's now telling me to go ahead and use the PC Health Check app to check compatibility. This is because it's recognized that something is not correct and it needs to be checked. So let's go ahead and download the PC Health Check app and we'll give it a check here. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and download this application. It is free to download and free to use on your system to check your PC to make sure you've got all the settings correct. Let me shut this down in the background and get this installed on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Quick installation. I'm going to go ahead and run it on my PC here. So once this opens up, you should get a window popping up like this. And this is the PC Health at a glance. You can see it's giving me some attentions here. And this is to say that I've got to do some Windows updates, which I'm going to finish off in a second. And then I'm going to run the check the PC for a compatibility. You can see it's flagged on the TPM 2.0. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that your PC is not compatible. It means that it might not be enabled in the BIOS. And I'll show you those steps in a second. But I just wanted to show you here that this is the yellow exclamation mark we have here that we need to address to continue to install Windows 11 correctly. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to head over to the BIOS in a second, and we're going to fix uh, this problem. Now, yours may have some other issues here like it might have an issue with, say, MBR, and you need to be GPT, or it may be other issues that will list up in that section there. And you need to correct these before you can continue with the upgrade process or fresh install on Windows 11. So I'm going to head off into the BIOS here, and we're going to do some checks on our PC. We're going to go to settings here. Now, your BIOS may be different, and you need to make sure that all these settings are changed before you can install or upgrade to Windows 11. So go through and take a look here. I can already see that the boot mode selected is legacy and UEFI. This needs to be changed to UEFI. So I'm going to go ahead and change that there. Also, just root through here and look at secure boot. That's another area. And also the TPM. We need to check that. So I'm going to go in here and you can see CSM is enabled. I need to disable that. And I also need to go into the 
secure boot and you can see there's no keys here enabled for secure boot so i'm going to go into key management here and you can see we've got some keys here so let me just enroll the factory defaults for these keys here so we've got these enabled so i'm going to reset here and get these saved on the system there we go once we've got this done let's take a look in the advanced section here and we're going to come down to this area here to make sure that we've got all the settings correct here before we continue so secure boot is now enabled as it should be here so i'm just checking through to make sure everything is okay so just go through your bios and make sure all of these are done now trusted uh computing needs to be enabled this is your tpm so this definitely needs to be enabled here so this is one of the requests that they wanted me to do so i'm just going to go ahead and do this now if you're running an intel system it may be different to what you see here but you do need to enable the trusted computing section once you've done all of this you can basically save all your settings and then reboot your pc back to the desktop and run the pc uh, health check uh, app again to make sure that it's passed all of its requirements that it wants so let's go ahead and quickly do that i'm just letting the updates run in the background again and i'm going to quickly check this first and then we'll go ahead and run the update so you can see here it's now passed all of its requirements and all of its checks we can look at the list here tpm 2.0 has been enabled and everything is working just as it should with green ticks inside here so that's what you need to see if you want to continue with the upgrade process even when you install windows 11 you'll need to make sure that all of that is done i shall let the update finish off and then i shall run uh, the windows installation uh, assistant thing again so let's go ahead and run this there we go so we've now we've got install windows 11 so it says good news we've got uh, all the requirements required to install windows 11 so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to now accept their terms and conditions and move on to the next stage of upgrading to windows 11 now you can always do a fresh install if you want to i always like to do fresh installs uh, with windows 11 but you can check this out first so the first step it's going to do is download the windows 11 off of their servers and that takes a bit of time so be patient there's one of three steps we need to go through here so i'll speed this process up so you don't have to sit around and watch this happen because it does take a bit of time so we're moving on to the verification of that download to make sure the download went successfully and it's all intact and then it will go ahead and then start to install now this can take a bit of time and this doesn't mean that it's completely finished after it's finished this step it's going to ask you to reboot the system and then it will continue uh, installing windows 11 and updating your system so just give it a bit of time to do its thing once this window pops up your pc needs to restart to install windows 11 you can then go ahead and click on the restart now if you've got any unsaved work you need to save it right now otherwise what's going to happen is it's going to be lost so make sure you save all your work so i'm going to close this off and let uh, the system restart you're just waiting for the restart screen to come up here and then basically this will start to configure the windows updates for windows 11 you can see here it's just preparing and then it will configure the windows updates for your system now this does take a bit of time so i'm going to skip through here but i won't skip any stages so you'll see the full process of upgrading to windows 11. it's pretty straightforward stuff uh, but i want to make sure that people know exactly what to expect when you do a windows 11 upgrade so we'll just let this uh, continue on here now you'll probably get a few restarts during this process so be patient and let that restart and then you should see the windows 11 logo for the first time once it starts to reboot for the first time so just let that come up here you'll see a black screen and it'll say working on updates which is pretty normal so just leave your pc on and don't turn it off now another question someone asked is is it possible to roll back from windows 11 to windows 10 and I've already made a video showing you how to do that. And the answer is yes, you can do that. So if you don't like Windows 11 or it becomes problematic, you can always roll back to your original Windows 10 operating system. So you should now see, hi, 
and then it's going to get a few things ready for you and then basically we're getting close to seeing windows 11 for the first time on this system so this might take a few minutes to get your system ready and then once this is complete you will get windows 11 showing up just like this so the activation should be still there if you was previously activated on windows 10 it will be activated on windows 11. another question someone asked is if i have windows 10 pro will i get windows 11 pro and the answer to that is yes you will if you have windows 10 home you will get windows 11 home it's that simple now whether you upgrade to windows 11 right away or you hold off for a few months is entirely your choice or whether you continue to use windows 10 uh, to the end of its existence that's your choice also uh, would I upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10? Uh, maybe not right away. If I've got a mission critical system that I'm using, I would tend to hold off and wait a little while just to make sure to see whether there's any uh, demons that uh, arise with Windows 11, just like it did with Windows 10. When they roll this out to many, many PCs, that's when all of the problems seem to arise especially by going by previous generations like Windows 10, we see loads of issues with Windows 10. I'm hoping that doesn't happen with Windows 11. Have I updated this on my main system? Yes, I have. Why have I updated it to my main system? That's because I make content on this channel and I need uh, the latest operating systems to make content for you guys so you can see tutorials on that operating system. At the end of the day, it's your choice. You can do whatever you like with your upgrade. You can either hold off or upgrade right away. Anyway, check out my previous videos on Windows 11, and this might answer a lot of your questions that you might have about Windows 11, and uh, hopefully this will help you out in some sort of way. If you want to see the fresh install, then let me know in a comment section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. If you want to join our Discord server, the link is in the video description. It's 13 plus and up. And uh, basically, if you've got any problems with your computers or maybe you just want to join the community, the link is down there and you can just click on that and it will uh, set up an account and you're good to go. It's all free to join. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I shall see you over on the Discord server. Bye for now.